feeling more at peace with myself than from yesterday you know those that happens just getting frustrated and I'm not mad at myself for getting frustrated I think it's healthy I mean this battle with chronic illness it's hard so frustrating moments are bound to happen but I'm happier this morning and that makes me happy obviously all right so um, health wise I'm doing better I don't need my walker but I'm keeping it close because I am a little unsteady um, so not feeling 100% but I think I'm getting there. I did cancel my occupational therapy this morning because I just didn't think there was any way I could do that. I don't want to push myself too much. And I did watch the first episode of Naked and Afraid XL last night. It's not what it sounds like. It is a survivalist show on Discovery that I love and it was so awesome. And so I am just hanging around the house today, maybe running an errand with Judd when he gets off work. And I got to change my port needle today. So I'm actually gonna go feed Harlow some breakfast and then do that. First the meat, then the fruits, veggies, and coconut oil. So I'm relatively new to raw feeding. This is our fourth week, I think. And some of y'all have been so nice offering friendly advice. And I talked to Janice about it while she was here this weekend. And I did a little research of my own and dogs digest vegetables better if they're blended. So I'm ordering some ice cube trays from Amazon that come with covers so they're spill proof and I'm gonna start blending her vegetables and freezing them into little ice cubes so Harlow can digest them better. But for now, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. The ice cube tray should be here in like two days with prime shipping. So I'm excited to start doing that. Harlow, speak. Why do you always spin first? Speak. Why are you doing weird push-ups? Speak. Like, you mean it! Speak! Speak! Okay, good girl! Okay, she went for the food a little prematurely before I said the okay word, but she, like, knows when she barks loud enough to get her food. So why doesn't she just bark loud enough right away? Oh, my silly dog. She's such a quiet dog. But her barking is getting better, and that's what I'm really happy about. Time to change my port needle while I'm still feeling relatively okay. Let's do this. Ta-da! I have a brand new port needle and I have to change this thing once a week and I like to do it on Mondays. And now let me show you the aftermath. So much trash comes from this. <laughs> As you can see, there are dog toys everywhere and there's more scattered throughout the house. And after having Orion here, so that's two Goldens, two times the shedding, all weekend, I really need to run the Roomba, but it's gonna run into her toys. And the act of bending down and then standing up, the postural change will really exacerbate my dizziness that I'm already experiencing from my pots. And if I bend down in another way, it will hurt my joints that are already in chronic pain from my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. So. I know somebody might suggest, well, you could try it this way. Well, no, there's like no way to do it. That's not gonna cause some type of repercussions with my chronic illnesses. So I have a service dog that knows how to put her toys away. It's a really helpful task for me because it takes away the whole need for me to bend down and pick up her toys. So I'm gonna have her do that now. Good dog. Come on. Clean up. Good. Oh, there's one right there. Clean up. Good girl. Here. Basket's over there. Good dog. Good girl. Hello. I was just about to run the Roomba and the Roomba doesn't bother my sensory processing disorder to the point where I need headphones on like my old vacuum did, which is awesome, but it does bother me to some extent. And I didn't wanna be stuck down here on the first floor while it was vacuuming, and I just don't feel well enough to make it back upstairs, and then I'd feel like I'd be stuck up there and I wouldn't make it back downstairs. So I remember Jed and I need to go to Sam's Club today, so I'm just gonna run it when he gets back from work and we're out running our errands, so I just don't have to deal with 
hearing the noise. So good thinking, Jackie. Now I'm gonna go make myself some lunch. So making lunch, one of my cucumbers fell on the floor and I was gonna give her some anyway because it's good for her to have a cucumber snack once in a while. And I just wanted to show y'all how she doesn't go for it. When it falls on the floor, she didn't even flinch. Such a good girl. Got my food and some juice here. Let's see if I eat it all. Okay, anyways, um, I got a call from my doctor just now and my bone marrow biopsy results will be in this week. So next week, Thursday, I have another phone appointment with him. We're gonna go over the bone marrow biopsy results and he wants to know how I do with the IVIG infusion I have this Saturday, my very first one. And then after I get my bone marrow biopsy results, I can finish my chronic illness video because those results are gonna give us more info about my immunodeficiency and my mast cell activation disorder. And then I can complete those sections and be done with the chronic illness video. So expect it to be uploaded shortly after, not this Thursday, but next Thursday. Thank you again for all of your patience. I really appreciate it. But you know, the POTS infusion video, the chronic illness video, and the port video will be up shortly after that um, appointment. Just gotta get those last few sections done. If I had just made half a sandwich, would have been perfect. But I'm really pleased with how my gastroparesis has been the past few days. I've been able to eat more than usual, so I'm really thankful for that. So a tow truck just came by and picked up Judd's truck. It's a 2000 F250, it's a white truck. And it has injector issues, I'm pretty sure doesn't drive and it's been broken for a few weeks now. Finally, we're taking it to the shop. A tow truck just picked it up to take it there. And my infusion delivery just came by. Got my infusion bags here in the fridge. And on Wednesday, I get another delivery from my home health company for my IVIG infusion on Saturday. How exciting is that? Dot is home, so we are off to Sam's Club. I'm starting the Roomba. Judd's home! Well, we're not home anymore. Oh, we left the house. Go to Sam's Club and get Harlow's big thing of chicken for her raw diet this week. She takes up a lot of room in her fridge. Yeah, not the fridge, the freezer. Not and complaint, just an observation. <laughs> I'm excited because uh, tomorrow's prep day and she's gonna be adding in some new things. Chicken hearts and a veal breast. I think that's what I got, so. Super excited for Harlow to venture in her raw diet stuff. <laughs> Y'all can see Harlow back there. So we also brought my walker. I was getting around the house for the most part okay, but the long walk through Sam's Club to go to the back and get the chicken and all that will be a little too much on me. So I wanna play it safe and be smart and use the tools I have to keep myself safe. My chronic illnesses are giving me a hard time. So we're gonna use that just like I said to be smart. We made it to Sam's Club and we're gonna do a quick video showing y'all how Harlow retrieves items for me. We found the chicken. We always get the heaviest one we can find. You lack a shopping cart? You improvise. <laughs> but who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Well, that was exhausting and I'm glad I brought the walker. Not just to put the chicken on it, but because I did need it in there. Now we are going home. I'm tired. We're both tired and we can just an old <laughs> relax at home. Well, I'm happy to be home. The Roomba did a pretty great job of vacuuming all of your hair, Missy. We are in bed and there was a series of events happening for us to get here. It's a rough evening. So I was feeding Harlow and she kept nose bumping me and I thought she just wanted food. Turns out I was actually scratching up rashes on my arm and I was starting a reaction. So I had a reaction. Thankfully this guy administered my IV Benadryl yeah. Or not, sorry, not reactions. Called an angioedema attack. I had one of those. But Judd administered my IV Benadryl and I was okay. And IV Zofran. And then I slept for a while. Uh, took a shower. He was helping me with the shower and I was sitting on my stool in there and I cover my port. Your port is not supposed to get wet when you're accessed. It greatly increases infection risk. 
Well, it got soaked. Soaked. Even though I covered it so well. Oh my gosh. So I had to do a needle change and that was a nightmare because... Well, first I tried to do a needle change and it was a crash course in trying to do and learning how to do it. So, and it wasn't good enough. Uh, I... And then Jack had to do it. I always change my own needles and we've been meaning to have Judd do it so he could learn because the nurse walked him through it once and then she was like, yeah, just have him do it a couple times and he'll know how to do it. And we've just never gotten around to having Judd do it because I'm kind of a control freak and like to do my own. She is. But times like tonight when I'm feeling so terrible from the reaction and groggy from the Benadryl, it would have been really great for him to do it but literally it was his first time trying to access my port and it should have worked i have no idea why we it wouldn't flush like we would push the needle in or he with the sterile gloves he'd push the needle in further and then it would work but he'd remove his hand and i guess it would come out and then it wouldn't flush so anyways we had a de-access then i was just like i did it myself and i didn't think i'd be able to because i just felt so bad but I, it was fine so anyways we've decided Next needle change day on Monday, we're going to have Judd do it after work so he gets more practice so he knows how to do it too. It's just better for the times I'm not feeling good. But oh my gosh, three needle changes today, an eventful evening. And it's bedtime. Wrap this up. Okay, sorry. We're not <laughs> feeling... I mean, we're both exhausted. It's late because of all that nonsense. So anyways, also I just want to say thank you so much for all the kind comments on my last vlog. Y'all are very sweet and supportive. I so appreciate that and we're exhausted. So thank you for joining us on our, on our adventure today and good night.